Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as soon as I execute this program, this is what I see. It's asking me how many MIDs do you want to move? Okay, let's say I want to move one MID and I do know the MID, it's 765. Okay, the source quarantine, I believe it's policy. The target where you want to move it, let's say I want to move it to unclassified. And it's asking me for the username. I'm the admin. Okay, I'm going to give you my password. I trust you. Okay, as soon as I hit enter, boom, there you go. Your request has been completed. Total count one. Okay, we're going to see a couple more examples. Okay, so as soon as I run this program again, this is what I see. It's asking me for the MIDs again. I say zero MIDs this time. So it's able to understand, okay, Z zero MID is to be moved, exiting the program. Now, what I'm going to try is I'm going to try multiple MIDs. Let's say three to four MIDs to be moved from one quarantine to the other. And let's see how that looks. Okay, so what if I want to move multiple MIDs? Let's go ahead. Uh, five. MID number 760, 761, 762, 763 as well as 764. How about that? Source is going to be policy. And the target is going to be unclassified. Well, I just remember these names. That's why I go for it. And now I want to go for... Okay. Now you see, total count five. And we got the action of move from the policy to unclassified. Your request has been completed, so we're good. Let's take a look at the logs in the ESA and the code itself. Okay, so this is what you'll find in the logs. You'll have the timestamp and everything. It's an info level log message. And then you have the MID 760 moved from quarantine uh, policy to unclassified, and you get the same message for the same log for the other emails as well. Also, uh, remember that um, as I was logging in, um, uh, I was giving my credentials of admin. I wasn't using the operator that I use in the other programs, like you would have seen in the previous videos, like the API. I'm not doing that because uh, the API, the operator, does not have access uh, to the quarantines. Um, I'll try to show that example as well at the end. I'll try to log in using API and see what we have in the logs. And I wanted to show you these logs. Now, these at the top are the mail logs. Oops. Okay. You can find it in the ESA log config. And then these are the. API logs, which I've named as the API. Anyways, it's up to you. So this is the output of the API logs whenever I was trying to run any query on this. So it says um, checking access for user admin role administrator. Got the IP address, it got the timestamp. It's a post call. Yes, in the previous videos we did get calls. This time we're doing a post call. Yep, and we're trying to access quarantine messages and we got a positive sign we got a 200 response code which is a good one so this is what we see for the other uh, messages as well and that's pretty much it if you see for example a 400 or a 500 we got problems if you see a 200 um, something then it should be fine okay let's take a look at the code now let's see uh, how we did it okay so this is the program and uh, I'm importing a few things out here. Uh, base64, git pass, pprint, json, requests. We got time as well. I've used all these in my previous uh, videos as well. Uh, I'm setting up the URL and uh, there you go, quarantine messages. And we saw this in the logs as well that I showed you before. Now, um, I'm getting the message count from here, the limit basically, and I'm fetching the MIDs from here. I'm doing some try, can, try accept in this case, trying to handle some errors. That's a good sign. Now, uh, fetching the quarantine names, I'm asking for the source quarantine and the target quarantine. 
and I'm returning those values. Now setting up the payload. Now this time we're using the payload and it's very important to use json.dumps in here. If you don't use that, you're gonna get an error. Use json.dumps here, otherwise it will throw an error. Well, it threw, it threw an error when I was trying it, so that's when I realized, okay, I gotta use json.dumps. Now, let's take a look at the user and password. We're trying to fetch the username and password from here by converting the username and password here, setting up the headers here, and this is where we're doing the main thing. Now we're doing the call, the request uh, call here, the post call, we're sending the URL, we're putting in the headers, data equals payload, and this is the payload. Okay, just wanted to check the payload again. This, this is where we're supplying the MIDs to the payload. The action is gonna move possibly in the upcoming videos when we're trying to delete or release emails from the quarantine using your Python script and a uh, REST API, you're gonna see a different action here, okay? Your destination quarantine, unclassified. Your quarantine name, policy. Now what's going on here? I just changed it a little bit. Why is that? Uh, I can show it to you afterwards, no problems. So uh, what I can do is I can uh, just simply copy and paste this source quarantine and target quarantine values right here without the inverted commas, those variables in there, and boom, that's it. It's gonna do it as per your request. Okay, now let's move back to the main program where we're executing this. So this is from uh, this is the place where the program starts, and this is the final part where the actual thing happens. Execute, now we're doing a post call, sending the URL, headers, payload, verify equals false, making sure that we don't get the certificate error with that. And then we're making sure that we're using json.loads to uh, uh, basically uh, loading the data into JSON format and uh, uh, grabbing it in this variable. Now there's another uh, thing that I wanted to check here, which makes sure that if the uh, uh, total count of MIDs is zero, um, moved, zero moved MIDs, then basically your request, uh, the MID is not present. And if it's successful, if it's not equal to zero, then your request has been completed. So basically whatever the output that we got, uh, saw previously, right? When it showed total count equals to one, equals to five. So if it's not zero, then we're good. That means if it's zero, then the MID was not present. That's how I'm doing it. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comments section. I'll put the code in the description below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put all the details in the description, possibly some links as well. In case there's anything else uh, that pops up, I'll put that in the description as well. Uh, please do put in, uh, uh, please do write some comments uh, if you have any questions or anything at all, any suggestions or whatever. Well, thank you so much again. Goodbye.